So football games often feature the recognition of our armed forces right on the field. Yeah, and now a charity that brings the two together off the field is getting the Hollywood treatment, a movie highlighting efforts to honor the men and women who served. Now to a new movie about life after you've lived out your dream. Pro Football Hall of Famer Michael Strahan knows all about MVPs, but in this case he's talking about Merging Vets and Players, a charity that pairs military vets and former pro athletes. They share camaraderie and find purpose once the uniform comes off. And the new movie, MVP, tells their stories. But a lot of these veterans and, and pro athletes who are pretty young feeling like they're losing that uniform and losing their greatness and they'll never capture it again, and it's a scary situation and, and, and it's a tough transition to make. Nate Boyers made it himself from Green Beret to long snapper at the University of Texas to the NFL and now director of a movie he hopes will serve those who have served. People can see who we are on screen uh, and then also you know support us. It's just like a, a huge win and a, and a way for us to get out to the world you know who we are and what we're doing. I didn't join the army to demonstrate my patriotism. Mixed martial artist Randy Couture makes a cameo, along with actor Tom Arnold, ex-NFL tight end Tony Gonzalez, and countless military veterans. All the vets on screen are played by actual vets, so it's almost like more, more of a documentary uh, at the end of the day, but um, it's not it's a scripted film. Though the biggest get may have been off camera. The first time the trailer dropped and seeing like the executive produced by Sylvester Stallone, you know, and I'm just like, Oh my God. He saved my life. MVP saved me. What's your goal ultimately for this film? There is an audience for this and the authenticity of it and the veteran community, which is like 20 some odd million strong. We're going to support our own. So like, let's, you know, let's figure this out. That movie is in limited release. You can find more information on their website, vetsandplayers.org. And if you do want to see the movie, on that website, you can even apply to organize screenings, which will be free to you. Others can come see it. It raises money for the organization, supports its mission, so really a good cause. Well, it's kind of nice to go behind what we typically see on just those few moments on the field. And then a lot of people, if you don't have a vet in your life, forget about it. Yeah, well, for the ex-players and the veterans, it really is a match made in heaven, mm -hmm. and it's good to see the work they're doing. Cool.